Hello, my name is Aaron, and welcome back to the Retro Gaming Collective. If you are watching this Easter week of 2021, um, then I am currently away in Disney World with my wife. Um, it may not look like it, but I actually pre-recorded this. Um, today is actually the, what's it, the 2nd of April. Um, and I actually did pretty well hunting this week. Um, did not do well in thrift stores, as usual. Didn't find a whole lot. I think I found maybe one game. But I actually did really well on eBay, and I did really well on Amazon and in retail stores um, in getting value and things to resell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the footage from the week of all the things that we found, all of our hunting. And then what I'm going to do is I'll show you everything that we picked up, and then we'll get a value for it. Um, and I was pretty pleased. I was pretty pleased with it. So sit tight and let's see what we can find. We started our journey this week at Thrifties. It's now actually Prime Thrift Shop, um, but they haven't changed any of the signage yet, so look for that soon. Um, but it has been so dry for me at thrift stores and Goodwills, I have found next to nothing. Um, I found some sports games here, and then I found this Ratchet & Clank Size Matters. It was um, disc only, and, but I only paid $1.41 for it. I picked it up just to say I got something at a thrift store this week. I also went to Second and Charles, and I love this store because I can always find something, including this Final Fantasy XV Ultimate Guidebook just sitting on the top of the free bin. How could I not take it? I wandered around the Wii section here, and I found a game called Arctic Tale that I was considering because it reminded me of Spirit of the North. Didn't end up grabbing it. So I moved along to the PS2 section. I found some really interesting things here. Just games that I've never tried or even heard of, like this Viet Cong game. It looked really cool, and for the price, I couldn't say no. I also found this um, Harvest Moon here. I didn't even know there was a Harvest Moon for the PS2. Um, so, of course, this is something that I had to pick up for that price. So worth it to me. Um, and I was really disappointed when I saw these Devil May Cry prices. They were just a couple of dollars over um, eBay prices, and I was not willing to spend $10 per game. Um, even though I would love to have these for the collection. Um, but if I could, if they were around 7 or 8 bucks, I probably would have ended up picking them up. But what are you going to do? I also found some really cool 360 games this time around, um, like this War of the North for Lord of the Rings. Awesome. Hey guys, so real quick, just wanted to show you a virtual game hunting deal that I found. Um, a pretty good one. Um, thrift stores have been kind of slim lately, so I've had to look on eBay to see some things that I can get and then maybe hopefully resell. This one was actually a pretty good deal. So if I'm able, there's the dog. <laughs> so if I'm able to, uh, show you the sold listing, I will do that. Um, if not, you'll just have to take my word for it, but I paid $14.99 for these three games. Um, they're dirty, they need some cleaning, but I have, this is the worst one. This I'm just gonna use as trade fodder, but it's Mario Brothers and uh, Duck Hunt. Uh, you know, it is what it is. It's kind of nasty looking, but I can clean it up and trade it for something. Then I got, Super Mario World for the NES. This is a $20 game, I think 20 plus shipping. Um, so I will make my money back on this one just, uh, you know, on its own. Um, it does need some cleaning. It's pretty, I mean, you guys, if you see my other videos, you know I'm pretty good at cleaning these up and making them look brand new. So that I will do with this. And then I also picked up Super Mario Brothers 2. Um, and this is maybe a $24, $25 game plus shipping. Um, so I will definitely be able to turn a profit with these. Now, this one I might have to take apart. I don't know if you can hear that. Get that out of there. I don't know what it is, um, but definitely need some cleaning. Um, but again, $5 a piece. Not bad. I'll take it. Let's see what else we can find. Our final stop of the week was at GameStop. Now, I don't always stop here, but for some reason I felt like it uh, on this day. And I'm really glad that I did because I found this really sweet deal. Five games, $19.99 and under for 50 bucks. I looked at the PS4 games. I didn't find a whole lot, but I went ham on the Switch games. Found such good stuff here for the price. 
All right, guys, so just got done in GameStop. Please pardon my mask beard. That's the worst thing about having a long beard is you end up getting this little curl right at the end where your mask is. Uh, but it is what it is. Getting a haircut tomorrow and getting most of this guy trimmed off, and I am looking forward to it. Um, so I took advantage of that five for 20 or five for 50 deal. Um, I ended up getting five Switch games for $10 a piece, and they're all pretty solid titles. I'm pretty excited to add these to the collection. So we got Final Fantasy The Zodiac Age is one. And we got Kingdom Majestic, and this looks like a cool little platformer um, that looks really fun for the Switch. And we got Katamari Damacy Reroll, however you say that. Um, this game looks really, really cool. I've, I've actually watched people play this, and I'm kind of excited to give it a shot myself. Um, then we got Goosebumps the Game. What else can, do I need to say? It's like super 90s and awesome. Looking forward to that. And then this is the one that I was most excited for to pick up. It's Collection of Mana. Uh, so this has Final Fantasy, Secret of Mana, and Trials of Mana built in. So it's three in one. Um, all in all, like pretty good haul for the GameStop, right? So let's go home and uh, see everything that we've gotten this week. All right, guys. So here is our stack for the week. Um, some pretty fun stuff here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to price chart everything, we're going to get a value, and then we'll talk about how well we did. This is everything that we have picked up this week. Pretty good haul if you ask me. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to break everything down by pickup, and we're going to talk about how we did. Before we do that, we have the trusty hound over here, um, keeping an eye on things. He's losing his hair because he won't stop scratching himself. He is not sick. <laughs> He's just dirty and stinky. But what are you going to do? Um, so let's start here. These six games here, these ones we picked up at Second and Charles. And I'm, I'm actually really pleased with this group of pickups. We got Crash Tag Team Racing for PlayStation 2. We got Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. Then we got Viet Cong Purple Haze. Um, and then for the 360, we got Quake 4. I actually got this for $2.95. Not a bad deal. It's got some sticker residue, but nothing that I can't handle. I've handled much worse than that, so uh, we'll get that off easily. We got Final Fantasy 13, and then Lord of the Rings, War in the North. And again, same thing. A lot of these games, we have some sticker residue, but nothing that I can't handle. Then up here, oh, hello, no licking. <laughs> this is this is the problem when you have, have a dog who um, has to be in the middle of everything. Um, we have Die Hard Vendetta here. I actually got this off of Amazon for a little over $5, and it's worth around $10. Um, it does have some sticker residue, but again, nothing too crazy, nothing that I can't handle. And then moving from there, I actually got these, um, as you saw earlier, these Nintendo games um, off of eBay. So that's proof right there, if you do a little bit of research, that you can find some really, really good deals um, online. Really, really good deals here. Um, I will make a good chunk of money back selling those three right there. Again, this is going to be trade fodder, but not a bad deal. And then my one and only thrift store pickup this week, um, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. I got this for $1.41. Um, I'm not super worried about the case, but I, you know, if I'm going to see a uh, PSP game out somewhere, I'm going to pick it up just to add to the collection. And then finally over here, I got my five GameStop pickups. We got Final Fantasy 13, or excuse me, Final Fantasy 12, The Zodiac Age. We got Kingdom Majestic. We got Goosebumps, the game. We got Katamari Damacy, Reroll, however you say that. We got Collection of Mana. That's probably my favorite pickup of the week, the one that I'm most excited to play. And then also we got this in the free bin here. Um, at Second and Charles. It was Final Fantasy, what's that, 15, the Ultimate Game Guide. I didn't include that in our price charting. So let's um, let's get this all priced out and see how we did. So I use an app called GameEye to both categorize my collection and as like a general starting point for price charting. Um, it is not always the most accurate. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less, but it's a good general starting point, like I said. Um, so out of pocket, we're looking at about 110 this week. 
Um, and then as of April 2nd, 2021, which is today for me, not for you, um, we're looking at a total value of about $217. So a pretty good week. Um, you know, I could easily make my money back here. I could sell a whole bunch of stuff out of this and, and do really well. I really could sell most of just the switch stuff and make a lot of money back. Um, the switch stuff, and then I could also sell the, the NES, SNES stuff, because I have all of those. Um, but that's really all I have for you guys this week. I really appreciate you guys checking out uh, the video. And if Easter has passed, I hope that you had a great Easter. And I hope that you got to spend a lot of time with your family if you celebrate Easter like I do with my family. Um, but if you guys like this kind of content, if you enjoy game hunting, if you enjoy collection videos, game room tours, things like that, toys, all that stuff, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, you can comment here if you have questions, if you want to, you know, say, hey, you paid too much for that, whatever. Like, let's talk about it. Um, or you can follow me on Instagram at the Retro Gaming Collective, where I post pictures of my collection, things that I pick up, things like that. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much. And uh, until next time, happy hunting.